destroy everything they've built. Hey, welcome back lads. So here we have all the new content coming in Season 5 for Vanguard and Warzone. Everything has been revealed to us and it's looking kind of crazy. As I said, this is the last ever season for both games, so it seems like they are going all out, adding operators and weapons from other time periods and other games. There is literally a laser weapon from Advanced Warfare. And of course, all the operators are returning villains from future games, the main one being Raul Menendez from Black Ops 2. And to continue on that theme, the villains have caused the volcano eruption on Caldera, and like I predicted, this is basically the destruction of the map of the island, Caldera, and the new mode in Warzone is kind of about that too, called Operation Last Call. That kind of sounds like Search and Destroy, where you are either choosing to detonate or defend bomb sites around the map, also kind of like the arms race mode in multiplayer. While there are these massive magma meteors falling from the sky, there will also be some kind of heroes versus villains event in Warzone, so that's kind of the, the theme that they're ending that entire game off of. The destruction of Caldera, like the storyline ending of the destruction of Verdansk with a nuke, that's basically what is going on here. That's about it for Warzone, so moving on to multiplayer, it's pretty uh, standard stuff for Vanguard, which isn't really anything special. We actually talked about most of this last week. The leaks about the apocalyptic or post-apocalyptic New York map and the Malta Fortress map were correct they were spot on. So yeah, that is that. There are also five new DLC weapons, and that includes three assault rifles. The EM-1 laser rifle, the BP-50, which is actually the FN-2000, which is the modern weapon, like from Modern Warfare 2, and also all the rest of the weapons are on the screen, so there hasn't been a single DLC shotgun in Vanguard the entire year. Uh, I don't know why, but... Yeah, <laughs> what is that? There isn't any like new score streak or anything else for multiplayer. Like I said, it's pretty standard, which is pretty bad. Nothing special, nothing different. Finally here, let's talk about zombies and the final DLC map, the Archon, which, as we already knew, takes place partly in Egypt. It's the spawn room of the second map, Terra Maledicta, they're just reusing that. And the other section is in the Dark Aether, where there will be a game-ending boss fight against Court Effects that actually looks pretty damn epic. And there is something there on the ground that looks like the pods from Shadows of Evil, I'm not sure what exactly it is. And the desert part of the map has this, like, damn ugly-looking green moss color a filter on it? What is that? What actually were they? What is that? So once again here is a look at the roadmap and that is about all that season 5 has to offer so that's all we have time for today. Stay spicy and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Power. We were all robbed of it. Those so-called heroes left us divided and broken. But they underestimated how dangerous we are. That mistake gives us an opportunity. And for the first time, they'll understand what it feels like to be powerless. everything they've built.